Stephen Gerard is uh, with us. Um, he works for the Department of uh, City Planning in Antwerp, Belgium. So Stephen, uh, Antwerp is quite well known for its fantastic uh, public spaces and the programs that the city successfully assigns to them. Uh, people seem to appropriate the city's motto, the city belongs to everyone. Uh, Parks Por Noord, uh, the theater square, the quays, the docks, the use of temporary vacant lands, etc. They all seem to carry uh, Antwerp's commonly constructed identity. However, these places seem often so successful that around them we can detect a trend towards a single type of housing, the loft urban living style associated with gentrification. Is this, as the sociologist Sharon Zukin argues, a threat to the diversity of communities? resulting in a dominating sameness, according to you. So maybe eventually these places do not longer, not longer belong to everyone and excluding people. Are you at the urban planning department of the city uh, worried about these trends? And, and what is the role, according to you, uh, the role of design in this? Difficult question, in fact. Uh, but um, are we aware of it? Yeah, I I think we, I, I think we, I do think we are aware of it, but um, and it also depends on which area we are talking about. It's true that I think it's also it's linked to the type of tissue and let's say the the typology of the the houses and the buildings. Whether there is like really gentrification in the negative sense, in a way, in the sense that the the poorer people let's say are pushed away and they have to move somewhere else and they are replaced by one type of up people that are living in the lofts i think it is the case in some areas like uh, for instance the island because it is full of warehouses so it is like yeah the place where you create or can create lofts but on the other hand it's it's not always true, I think, because, for instance, around the Spor North Park, we see that some things are changing, but it's not that the park is pushing away, let's say, the people that are living there. I, for me, it's more like on some projects, like I, like I said before, it is, there is a kind of gentrification, but what we also see is that, in fact, there are the city in the city there are a lot of people or type of people of groups of people living and in fact they always have to find a place somewhere so for instance around the, the parks for north new people are moving in but it's not that the other people are moving out i also think that it is linked to the the type of the, the typology of houses that we have there i think that there are also types of houses or there is a typology that in which pe some people are not interested in so the, the people, other people can stay huh? and they don't have to move. But what we see is, we do see that some other people move in. But I think, in my opinion, and it is a very, how to say, it's a very difficult and a very, um, maybe weak is not a good word, but I don't, I don't know another one. It's a weak balance, but I think there is also good gentrification, let's say. Eh? Gentrification doesn't always have to be negative. And I think around uh, the Spor North Park, what we see is good, what I would call good gentrification. It's true that, let's say, the, the interesting houses around the park, it's, we see prices are rising. We see that, let's say, people want to buy uh, the houses with views on the park. But on the other hand, we also see that other people are moving in and they're looking in the area and they're like a little bit pioneering hmm, and bringing new things into the tissue and give and they're giving like positive impulses to the area so in fact it's not negative it's positive because it are also the kind of people that are moving in that are very demanding towards the city i think so for instance and this and it is also um a class of people, the city, like young families with children, for instance, the people wants to stay in the city. So it's a very interesting situation because they are they decide themselves to go and live in a difficult area, also because they can find, of course, for a lower price, more square meters, etc., etc. It's not only because they are like um, they want to help the city to solve problems of a problematic neighborhood. But now that they are living there and they're, let's say they are, they are a lot, 
but they are still a minority among the other minorities, but they are very much more demanding towards the city. So the city is very attentive, but this, because the city wants to keep them there, because they are a group of people, they are lucky, we are lacking in the city and we want them there. And But on the other hand, they are very demanding. So in fact, the people, the city maybe more than before is forced or uh, is attentive to invest and to do things in those areas. So I think that in that sense, gentrification or, uh, can also be a very, 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 very good thing. And it is interesting to follow this process in um, how it is going on. Uh, it's something that personally interests me a lot. And also we, s uh, we see, <coughs> sorry, we, yeah, it's, it's very interesting to see where it will go because now the, all the tendencies, let's say, are positive, but I'm not sure that it will be like that in the future. So I think it's also a big challenge for the city and maybe also for other designers to, to support this and to make this movement, which is in fact, in fact a very incremental thing, to go on and to make the city better, let's say, so that it still belongs. Eh? to everybody like the slogan of, uh, of the city.